Looks like this submission has two questions. You can try to submit each question one at a time rather than together. Makes it easier to answer and people are more likely to pick up your questions. But I'll go ahead and answer both of them. For the first one, here's the chemical reaction. It's the decomposition of dinitrogen pentoxide. They tell us that it's first order and may want to know what the value of the rate constant is. If we rearrange the first order integrated rate law, the, natural, or the rate constant will be equal to the natural log of the amount we have at time t divided by the amount at time zero, that whole thing divided by the time that has elapsed. This gives us 4.69 times 10 to the negative 3, 1 over seconds as our k value. The half-life is simply the natural log of 2 divided by k, so we end up with a half-life of 148 seconds. For part C, it wants to know the mass that will remain after five minutes. So again, we'll use the first order integrated rate law. The natural log of something over something else can be separated into the natural log of the first thing minus the natural log of the second thing. So I have the natural log of the concentration or the mass that remains after time t will be equal to negative k multiplied by the time K has units of 1 over seconds, so I need to convert the 5 minutes into seconds. Plus, so I would have normally had natural log of x minus natural log of the mass at time 0, but then I moved it over to the other side and changed its sign. So it'll be plus natural log of the amount at time 0, 2.5 grams. And the natural log of the amount at time T is negative 0 0.4907. We take the anti-natural log, that's E to the, and I get 0.612 grams. And then last of all, how long will it take for 99% of the dinitrogen pentoxide to decompose? Well, if 99% is decomposed, 1% is left. One part out of 100 is left, or 0.01 parts out of one is left. So that'll be the natural log of the amount at time t divided by the amount at time 0 equals negative k multiplied by t. We can then rearrange the equation and solve for t, 982 seconds or 16.4 minutes. Now for the second question, here's the decomposition. It's first order and we're given a half-life. First objective is to calculate the rate constant. Rate constant, as we did over here, we use this little equation, half-life equals natural log of 2 over k, or I could switch the k in the uh, half-life, k is equal to the natural log of 2 over half-life, which is what I did here, giving me units of 2.57 times 10 to the negative 2, 1 over minutes. Then I'll do something similar to what I did here, but now using pressures instead of grams. The natural log of the pressure at time t is equal to negative k multiplied by t plus the natural log of the amount at time zero. The natural log of the pressure at time t is 4.899. I take the anti-natural log of that, that's e to the 4.899, and I get 134 millimeters of mercury.